Hey, so it's been a little while since I've made my last real estate market update video. So I apologize, but let's dive right into the numbers so you get a better idea of what's going on with Houston real estate. All right, real quick, I wanna to touch on the national real estate market and then we'll, we'll get into Houston, I promise. All right, so this is a graph of home sales nationally since 2000. And you can see recently here, uh, our home sales have been, have been a little bit low compared to where we've been the last you know, decade or so. COVID was crazy and then just it went crazy as far as home sold. And now we're kind of coming back down to a more normal level, actually rather low level. Um, and so a lot of people are kind of worried, hey, is the housing market going to crash? This is that. Um, and, and my answer is I, I, don't, I don't see it. I think it's just we, we're kind of a lower time right now, but we've also had crazy low inventory for so long, you know, since COVID that we're kind of starting to, to balance to kind of get back to more of a normal market. If you take a look here at the um, total uh, housing inventory um, since 1983, we're, we're at one of the lowest we've been here for a long time, you know, really since COVID. Um, and so even though we're seeing an increase of, of home inventory, um, it's, it's still historically low. So again, keep that in mind. We'll see some of this play out here in the Houston real estate market. All right, let's look at new listings in Houston. Here is 2022 in blue. Uh, new listings in red for 2023 and here's 2024 in green so we see a lot more homes coming on the market that's a great sign for home buyers because hey we have more options to purchase from um, and then also think about this too yeah we've had a lot of ups and downs but the market was so insane during covid a lot of my clients had to put in multiple offers in different houses and just hope they got one and that's an insane market and so think about a lot of those homeowners are like hey i still want to move but I don't want to deal with that. I don't. I, if I can sell my house, great. But I don't know if I can find a home that I'd like to buy or even get our, my offer accepted. So a lot of homeowners from that time frame um, are now you know, considering putting their homes on the market, building a new home, or downsizing or upsizing, whatever they're doing. Um, they're more comfortable with moving, and so that's going to put some more inventory on the market. And then things we'll see here in a little bit are not selling quite as fast. Uh, so let's talk about how that's impacting average listing, active listings. Um, here in 2022, we had just an insanely low amount of homes that people were like, I gotta move, and so they're just taking any home that they can find or at least get their offer accepted on. 23 inventory increased a little bit, and then here in 24, man, it's just been such a strong increase. And so, um, again, that's I think that's better to kind of start to average out here, and we'll see how it it looks uh, histor not historically, but just how it looks in the the grander scheme of things, whether that's the buyers or sellers market here when we go over all those numbers. Um, pending homes, this is great to see where, where the market's going here in the next couple months. Um, you see here, we've kind of been back and forth with last year as far as homes pending, up and down. Um, and so I think we're, we're still kind of trending on, you know, just at or just under last year. Um, and so I don't see it just going crazy unless interest rates, you know, drop just dramatically this year, which remains to be seen. Um, we'll talk about that later too. I keep saying that. So I will talk about it, I promise. Sold homes here in blue, 2022, uh, red, 23, and green, 24. Again, kind of same thing, back and forth, back and forth. And we're actually down 13% from last year and 21% from 2022. So uh, we are seeing fewer homes sold in the last couple years. But you'd think, hey, with more inventory in the market, uh, home sales are down a little bit, you know, prices has got to come down, right? Well, you are wrong, my friend, because they are actually up. Looking at here in 2024, the green line, we actually surpassed the highest average sales price for a single family home in May of this year at pretty much $444,000. So um, that's crazy to see, even with the rising inventory, uh, there's still just a strong demand for great homes in Houston. Um, and until that, it would just have more and more of a supply. Uh, you know, I think prices are just going to kind of remain somewhat similar, some high, some years, some low. So you just keep that in mind. You think more inventory, better prices, and it's not there yet. All right, let's go over year over year numbers. All right, single family homes uh, uh, sales uh, last year was 8,700 to 7,700 this year. Decrease of 11, almost 12%. Average sales price 40, 428,000 to 432,000. About just under a 1% increase. Active listings from 35,000 to 47,000. This is big. Increase of almost uh, you know 33, almost 34%. So that is a big jump in number of listings year over year. Haven't seen that in a while. So uh, months of inventory went from three months to about 4.3 months. So we still are in a seller's market. 
um, but we're actually getting closer to more an even average market, which is five months to six months of home inventory. Pending home sales, 7,800 to 8,400, so that is an increase there, 8.4%. Uh, 8, 8 now on to interest rates. So interest rates right now, 30-year fix, just under 7% in the 15-year fix, 6.37%. Uh, so seeing those interest rates slowly come down, they're kind of going back and forth, but with the talk of the Fed cutting uh, the prime rate, um, you know, we're starting to see that interest, the interest rates come down a little bit. Um, and so we'll see what happens with that. But again, that's good to kind of make homes a little bit more affordable. But we'll, again, we'll see what happens with pricing. All right. So if you need help with buying, selling, renting, feel free to reach out. Or if you just have any real estate questions, I'm always here, happy to help. Um, and please subscribe so you can see me in the next one.